A couple of years ago, no one would have believed that this raggle-taggle tribe of Jamaican musicians would be packing Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens. It's a sign of reggae's growing acceptance in the international pop music scene. And it's also catapulted this man, Bob Marley, to superstardom. But reggae is not just a pop phenomenon. It's developed into a powerful force for political change, as powerful in its own way as the protest music of the 60s. This past April in Kingston, it created a truce in a country torn by political violence. Ghetto youth, tired of the constant political infighting, banded together in a mammoth reggae concert for peace. It ended with Prime Minister Michael Manley and opposition leader Edward Sayaga on stage, shaking hands in an appeal for peace. The man responsible for it all, they say, was Bob Marley. Bob? You've been labeled a powerful political individual. How do you regard that? Well, I mean, yeah, we was like, we try for my career to bring peace, knowing that we really can't solve a problem with a war, you know? It doesn't really solve a problem. You know, feel like really killing someone. Whose problem am I going to solve when I kill someone? You know what I mean? So I figured the peace is the best thing. And that's why I go ahead and work with it, because it was a spiritual thing that happened. But isn't what you need some sort of social, legislative change? The economic conditions are bad. You have a lot of people who are unemployed. What's really going on now is that we don't really want the island to change. We want the world to change. And his music is how he gets his message across. So the sun will shine in my day to day. fast becoming Jamaica's main export, and the Rastafarians are playing it best. But these days in Jamaica, it's hard to know just who is a Rastafarian. The religion evolved from traditional Christianity to see heaven in here and now terms. Salvation is a free Africa. The late Haile Selassie is a savior. And because the religion condones the use of marijuana, it has popular appeal. So many young Jamaicans are now wearing their hair in the natty dreadlock style. Rastafarianism is very popular in Jamaica, yet in Canada, the United States, it has a bad reputation. People are associated with drugs and the trafficking of marijuana and violence, police yeah, arrest. Yeah, them crucified Christ, remember? Christ was a Christian and them crucified Christ, say, hey, is not a, what no, it is. No, but let's go back to the facts. People have been arrested, and the Rastafarians in Toronto, for example, have but a I mean, very bad reputation. When I, I mean, you know, I would say, I wouldn't say that the Rastafarians have a bad reputation. I would say people give the Rastafarians bad reputation because the Rastafarians, I mean, you know, I mean, all of these things happening before the Rastafarians even start coming to Canada anyway around here. But, but the things that are very obvious are things like the way you look, right? To most people who are very conservative in dress, you look quite strange. Plus the fact that you advocate smoking yeah, marijuana. Yeah, you think this. I'll show you this now. Could they tell God that it's not legal? No, but you're... They couldn't tell God that it's not legal. You have a legal. very strong religious belief, but other people don't necessarily share that. And what they see are the obvious things. And isn't it, in fact, true that many Jamaican people get involved in the trafficking of marijuana and therefore get the bad reputation associated with Rastafarians? People get trafficking. You see, we're really, I don't really know anything about those parts of life. You know, All I know about is Rastafari, you know, and try bringing this truth to the people. What do people do with them life? I don't really know about that. I know about my own. Okay, what is your own? What's your music my own to you? Is my own, my, the music to me, the music is more than music to me. It goes further than music, you know. 
it go with, with I don't know it for the music. But you used it as a, a strong message. I mean, words like a hungry man music is an angry me. man. Yeah, the music used me. Whatever it is, there's no doubt Bob Marley knows how to use his music. 12,000 people, more than half of them white, came to hear him perform. And in a trance-like mystical state, he carried them with him and left them shouting for more. Despite this obvious commercial success, he appears to live the life he preaches. What do, you, what do you do with the money that you make? Do you take it back to Jamaica? Do you give it to the people? I give it away. You give all your money away? All the time, yeah. How do you survive? Oh, Rastafari is God. How do you feel the people of Jamaica see you as a musician? See me? The people of Jamaica not to see me. We show the people of Jamaica Rastafari. No, no, no. Do they like you? If the people like me, yeah, the people love I. The people love I. The people make I. And if this audience is any indication, he'll have made it in Canada too. Sandy Ronaldo for Canada AM. <laughs>